we are back in London for another luxury shopping vlog. Steph here. So I'm currently at home now. I have just done my makeup. I need to do my hair in a second. But I just wanted to share with you one of the reasons I'm so excited for today's video. And that is that in the last few days, I have discovered some new colorways of bags that are exceptional. In fact, one of them I have shared over on my Instagram. If you want follow me already, my handle is at handbag underscore holic. I shared it over there on my stories and it is the Mulberry Mini Alexa bag, which I already have two of. I absolutely love it. And it has now been released in the new powder rose color. So a few of the Mulberry bags have been available in this color. But finally, as of yesterday, this was available in the Mini Alexa, which is my favorite bag from Mulberry. And when I shared it, my DMs just started going crazy with so many people saying, you need this bag in your collection. So I have only seen this, this color online, and I'm really hoping today we are able to track one down because I absolutely want to share with you my thoughts. Is it as beautiful as it looks? We've also got the mini Dior saddle bag and it has been brought out in this fuchsia pink. The hardware even has like fuchsia pink on it. And I am desperate, I'm really hoping we get to see one of these. Now this isn't usually a bag that is my color option, but I definitely think it's fun and I do really want to give it a try. Now, as mentioned, I have done my makeup and I just need to dry my hair now and I have to introduce you to one of the most game-changing products that I have been using over the last few months now. So I went through a fairly stressful period um, around uh, just over a year ago now where my dog was nearly put down because he had a fracture in his jaw. He is now fine, he is happy and healthy, um, but that teamed with the stress of the pandemic and a few other life, big life changes for me started to mean that my hair was starting to fall out a lot more than usual. I would brush my hair and hair would just come out. It would come out in clumps. And I really started to notice, like especially around this part on my scalp, like you could see my scalp, especially when I was putting my hair back. And this is the first time that I've ever dealt with this. So of course I went on a mission to look at my hair care. What would I need to start growing the hair back to make it healthier, stronger, and also just look more vibrant in general. And one of the products that I came across was the Zuvi Halo Hair Dryer. Now I would like to say a huge thank you to Zuvi for sponsoring this part of today's video. And this hair dryer dries with a combination of infrared light and high speed air. So the average hair dryer actually gets to around 140 degrees, whereas the Zuvi gets to 111. So it's nearly 30 degrees cooler and much more kinder to your hair. Also with the light technology, which is patented, this, this hair dryer has won multiple awards. It dries your hair so that the inside of your hair follicles don't actually dry out. It just dries the outside of your hair which will leave your hair feeling softer and more moisturized and this is what it looks like when you turn it on so this bit here lights up here and the air comes out of the center of the hair dryer now it has four settings uh, the one that i use the most is the care setting which is the first setting we then have the fast setting so if you want to dry your hair quicker you can use this one we also have these soft settings so if you really want to be super gentle with your hair you can use that one and then you use the style setting when you want to use one of the styling attachments that come with the hair dryer and one of the attachments that i do really like actually is this one here and when you use this it helps to dry your hair in a certain direction so if you're like me and you have straight hair and you don't have the time to straighten your hair as well as blow dry it this is definitely a really great add-on and the hack is if you hold down the button here when you are selecting your setting, if you hold it down and don't let go, it will actually blast cold air out of it. So if you are curling your hair, if you have rollers in your hair, it has dried or maybe if you have pinned your curls up, if you then give it a blast with the cold air, it will actually help the curl to set. Now, since using the Zuvi Halo hair dryer, I can honestly say it really has made a difference to my hair. And I was slightly skeptical in the first place because I was like, how does this actually work? But it is so much gentler on my hair. It does feel a lot softer and more moisturized. And I definitely have way more regrowth around here. So you can see the baby hairs now starting to grow back where I didn't have hair before. 
and when I put my hair up or pin it back like I have a much better hairline where it was originally kind of receding up here. So if you are looking for shinier, healthier, to eliminate frizz from your hair as well it is great for that and also for hair loss especially postpartum hair loss as well or if you've just been through a stressful time, hormones or just getting older simply this is such a great buy. I really do wish I'd have got a Zuvi Halo hair dryer sooner than what I did because it's, it's always the same, isn't it? Until you've actually started to lose something, do you really start to value it and realize how much you want to keep that? So the fact that I've got some regrowth here that is coming back stronger, I think is amazing. And definitely a part of that is thanks to the Zuvi Halo hair dryer because I just feel like I'm taking better care and I know that I am of my hair. Now these are quite an investment, but an investment in your health and in yourself I don't think you can put a price on it. And because this is a sponsored video with Zuvi, they have kindly hooked us up with a discount code. I will flash it on the screen down below for you. You can use it on the hairdryer and you can also use it across the website on other products that they sell as well. I will also include details in the description box for you. Now that my hair is done and looking beautiful, we are going to head to the train and then do our shopping vlog. Let me know in the comments what you're liking the look of. Harrods, we still have scaffolding on the outside of the building and LNN, my favourite coffee shop. We have made it, we are here in London and if I spin you around, Harrods is just here and also Prada Cafe is here, which I haven't managed to get a booking for, but I might have a quick nosy, see if we can see anything through the window. So as mentioned, first on the list is to go and see the two pink bags, Mulberry and Dior, and then just have a look around. Let's see if we can see anything. The Prada Cafe. Harrods generally do these kind of like pop-up cafes, which I think is really cute. Can we see in the window? Oh, we have some beautiful, oh, what are these? Are these like cakes? They almost don't look edible and they've come in like the Prada box. Similar to what you get if you were buying a bag actually. Very cute. I think today we're gonna head up to the first floor first actually, rather than the ground floor. So on the escalators, we have a display here and this is a Balmain outfit. Let's have a quick look at Givenchy. We have some really beautiful styles. Oh, I like this dress here with the ruching. We've got some sequins as well. And in terms of bags, we have got the Antigona silver. We definitely need to check out these sparkles and they have the hobo bag there in black. And of course, sparkles first. This is the silver crystal bag here, like the Antigona, but an east-west version. And this is the cutout bag, which again comes in this beautiful baby pink with silver hardware. And you've also got the silver one as well. I'm quite excited to try these on actually. So let's try the pink one on first. So it's quite a good size actually to say this is like a mini cutout bag. And it just closes over the middle of the bag. It's quite a nice strap length as well, so it will sit on the shoulder nicely. And here we have the hobo bag, which is one that I like. This one is an all python and it has silver hardware. I haven't seen an all python one like this before, only the leather one. So it looks like this is coming out in different materials now. Some bags from Alea. And I think these are new. These are like little basket bags, which you can hold here. These are very cute. 870 pounds great price for a bag i love the laser detail like the laser cutout so we've got it in a nude and a black and then we have like the original kind of totes here oh these are so cute i love this little mini size really beautiful my phone will fit inside here like stood up but actually i think this one would be the better size for me let me just take a look and this one is 1390 this is the mini size so i'm assuming this is like a micro very gorgeous and a bigger one here in black some more bags here this very on trend right now i like the detail of the lock very beautiful and this comes in different sizes so we have a mini one here and then the larger size belt wow it's one hell of a belt and then we've got this bag I've never seen this one before it has a zip closure crossbody strap I feel like this is very much holiday vibes and we've got a black one here as well and like an east-west kind of version of that bag I think I like the mini one very cute and the fashion here is absolutely stunning we've got lots of gold this is lovely like a gold bronzy heart 
assuming this is mock croc leather jacket there full length and this gold dress i've seen this before and it still stands out and looks so beautiful and of course we have the spike heart bag which we have seen in a few other vlogs as well but yeah it's a very different piece a quick stop in Chloe because I had to try on this woody tote bag. I have not seen this colour combination before, this is a new one. So it has white leather but the straps actually have gold stitching on. So you see the Chloe is in gold. Apparently this is exclusive to Harrods but if I find them I will link them down below for you. So the medium and this is the micro size here. Um, I will say the gold stitching I think just looks so beautiful on this one. So if you're looking for a Chloe woody tote this would be perfect for spring summer. And what am I wearing today? Um, I like to film these when I'm out because I often change what I'm wearing like just before I leave and that has happened today. So I'm just wearing a white t-shirt. I have some Zara like high waist jeans on here. I love these so much. I've got them in quite a few colours now. My Hermes day sneakers and my JNBY black parka and I decided to team this with my Givenchy soft Antigona in the black. I swear by this bag, it is the bag that I use every day, so it's quite easy to bring this one out with me because it was already packed. I also have on Jewelry Rise just my Adil Lena necklace, I believe this one is. I absolutely love this, this is one of my favourites, so I will link it down below for you. Okay then, now that we have seen what I'm wearing today, I did want to wear something different, like I said, but it was chucking it down with rain when I left the house and the forecast in London has been hit and miss, so. This is what we have today. I needed something with a hood to protect my hair in case it just start to chuck it down, which it probably will do. Lueve, what do we have here? We've got some of the, I'm not sure the name of this one, but it looks like a leather pencil case. What do we think? Sorry about the bright lights. Let me do this with my camera and apparently this stops the strobing, so I hope this is helpful. I've got it in like a teal and a tan colour. What do we think? I do quite like the trainers though. I am super tempted, although I'm just not sure about this bit on the back. But they do look quite comfortable. Ooh. Look at this. No, I'm not sure about these. I'm not sure about these. I love this colour. Do we prefer the tan or the like creamy colour? And we've also got them in white. I think I'd actually go for the white. They look really soft and comfortable. And then we have the basket bags up here. These are perfect for summer, very popular. And then over here, we have this display, some shoes, and this basket bag here. It's cute, I like the anagram charm that's on the front. Bottega quite quiet oh this is the Andy Ammo tote bag this is in like the mini size I just love this like detail on the front it's actually quite heavy like it's a solid piece of metal and then inside it's a magnetic closure but the leather just feels so beautiful and we've also got it in like a chocolate color down here as well I love this with the gold oh you can even get like the matching shoes with the knot on the heel Got grip on the bottom as well. It's great. And got them in a black colour. Some Judith Lebeur here. So bags are very well known and they do cost quite a lot, but they are absolutely spectacular and always covered in crystals. A rainbow clutch here. Silver sparkles and round here we have some Harrods exclusive bags. Look at this gold bar from Harrods. It says chocolate rich. Very cute. And this teddy bear. It has like the green bow on and it says Harrods on. These are really beautiful if you want an exclusive piece. Butterfly. And wow, what is this? Like a rose? Oh my gosh, they have a little dog. Oh my god, that is so cute. They have a money bucket. They have an alien. I just love how the Judith Lebeur couture is just so different and out there. Like it's such a talking point, isn't it? Fabulous. I think the dog might have to be my favorite. So heading into the super brand section now, we've got Chanel over here and some Louis. What do we have here? This is very beautiful in like a cream and white tweed, like a top handle bag, this will be a seasonal bag. Here we have the beautiful suit that we saw in Selfridges, like the colour 
is incredible. I love the cut as well, like how low the neckline is. We have a necklace on, this mannequin, and a white bag. Again, the same top handle bag. It has like metal detail on the top handle as well. Very pretty. And here, oh wow. This with the crystals. Oh wow, we have a little chain pouch here, but there's like three on the same chain. It's very different, like a mini granny purse. We have the CC on the front. It looks like it's made from lambskin. We have like a wide leg, kind of jumpsuit, but it's not. We've got a Chanel belt. Have another little mini Chanel bag here. And over here, ooh, I've not seen this bag before. This is like a flat bag. Looks like it's got a quilted pocket on the front with gold hardware. This will be a seasonal bag, so it probably won't have a name. I quite like this. Sorry about the reflection on the glass, trying to stop that, but I do really like that one. The top handle again, but in a, like a lime kind of color with the gold hardware. Very beautiful. And on this mannequin, lots of jewels, and we have a small little card holder, which is quilted. Can we see that? We have metal around the edges and like lambskin on. I like the play with like the leather and the metal on that one. Here we have a Chanel 22 in a really nice pink color, perfect for spring summer. We have a tennis bat bag. I'm not sure how I feel about this, very much a statement piece. Some glittery shoes and a pinky kind of coral classic flap. Again, statement piece. We have the 19 wallet on chain here. I like this, I think it looks great, but let's take a quick look at the price of this one. £3,160 for a wallet on chain, wow. <laughs> Louis Vuitton. And this coat here, I quite like this. I think it's fun. Look at the oversized zipper and tabs on the zippers as well. Part of their 2023 kind of oversized collection. And we've got jeans here with like a luggage tag on. And this is a bag that I've been looking at but never tried on. This is the side trunk bag. Let me know what you think to this bag in the comments. I quite like this, but I would probably go for an all leather version, but this is the canvas version. I think it's quite casual, but yeah, I'm not too sure. Downstairs, we also have the Yayoi Kusama display still up here for the second drop. We have the pumpkin, which looks strangely like an octopus. Again, not been a huge fan of this collection personally. This twist lock in like a purpley blue, I like. And wow, this micro capucine. I didn't even know the capucine came in a micro size. This is smaller than the mini. This is in like a bronze croc with the pearl inlay for the logo. This is so beautiful. I believe it retailed at around £18,000 in the UK, so very much an investment piece. And this pink capucines I thought was pretty fun. Balmain, what do we have here? We have lots of pieces inspired by the Egyptians, and wow, look at this bag here. We are going to have to investigate and try this on. Lots of beautiful tweeds, reds. We've also got some animal print and teal. And in the window, look at this beautiful jacket. So I'm hoping to try this on and this dress has like the sequins, we have some black and gold print here and this dress is really really beautiful in the black and silver crystals and we have a shorter version of it just here but this blazer for me. Let's take a look see if we can try one on. Here is the Egyptian inspired bag. We have mirrored gold on here. We have almost like wings. We have crystals. We have big beetles on the side of the bag. This can be removed. What do we think? Statement piece for sure. We also have the Balmain blazer here in all leather. Oh, this Egyptian inspired skirt is definitely one of my favorites. So the Balmain blazer, I have this with the three buttons up, but actually I think I would prefer a version with just like one button on. So this is the kind of standard one. And this is a fairly new, I believe, style of the blazer. It's much more structured. It does have a button here. It's like rounded shoulders versus more of a flat shoulder, if you can see the difference. Let's give these a try on. So this is the first one, which is more angular than the other. I like it, but I feel like this is definitely more of a dinner jacket and this one feels more casual, even though it's still a blazer. 
So this is the slightly less structured one here, similar to mine, but without all the buttons on. And just for reference in terms of sizes, the more angular one, um, size up in this, so I'm usually a 36, I got a 38, and I tr tried my usual size on 36 for this one, and they both fitted perfectly. Celine now across from Balmon. We have some fashion pieces, so they have more ready to wear down here. The 16 in black, tan, soft blue oh my gosh like the colors so beautiful i love this soft blue definitely want to try one of these the arctic white i believe this is triumph croc brown oh wow look at this blue croc with the gold and the pebble gray Honestly, I cannot stop trying the 16 bag on. I think it's my favorite bag from Celine. Here we have the mini size. This is in a croc and this is called soft blue, I believe, which I think works really nicely with the gold hardware. And then for size reference, this is the mini here in the croc, but then we have in the smooth leather, the small size. I think I prefer the small size as like an everyday. I've also got the belt on as well and the mini for spring summer. Oh wow, this display from Prada. Lots of crystals. Look at this satin set here. That is something special, isn't it? We have an ostrich like half moon bag, a messenger bag in blue ostrich, and crystal shoes, maybe to go with the crystal pajamas. More of the black crystal Prada. How gorgeous is this? So pretty. I actually think it's my new favourite out of the Prada crystal bags and the leathers. This satchel bag's really nice as well. White, pink, green. I think I like the white and actually we've got this like lemony colour that's be perfect for spring, summer. We have lots of neon at Fendi. Wow, look at this. And we have this sequin baguette bag. So cool. Very awesome. Micro peekaboos. Peekaboo in exotic and classic black leather. I spotted this crystal peekaboo from a mile away. This is the mini size. It was the last one they had left in Harrods, retailed at just over £5,000. This probably is one of my favourite pieces. They also had the mini peekaboo in silver as the lime green colour. I quite like the bow detail on these. I think that's quite sweet. And here they are, a little bit closer up. Something a little bit different, a classic bag, but in a very modern, fresh colour option. And we have the bright green Fendi first. So this is the Marc Jacobs and Fendi collection. It's neon baguette. We have this one in black and white. Silver here. Some more neons. We have the sunshine tote bag as well with the neon. And the Fendi sunshine shopper tote bag. got these here so this one says the baguette on the front from Fendi this is in like a denim and the sunshine shop at Tote and we have the Fendi first as well in this fabric and the baguette here in black so very much like the Marc Jacobs shop at Tote bag what do we think to the Marc Jacobs collab and a few more pieces here Fendi and Marc Jacobs collaboration, more of the baguette bag with black writing on the front and the skirt, Fendi top and another big baguette here. I like the little bow detail on the handles of these, same Fendi, I think that's quite cute but definitely I would go for like an all leather version of the bag myself. The pop-up is now open, Del Bo. what do we have here? I like this chair. This bag's cool. Oh, look at the details. We have green and yellow, a bucket bag. Very cool. And the crystal bag again. Oh, I just love this. This is so pretty. It's like silver and bronze crystals. And then we've got the leather one. What do we think to Delvo? I think I prefer this style of bag though. It's kind of a bit more like the Hermes Kelly. Oh wow, this is in like an iridescent 
kind of exotic skin. I'm not sure if it's picking up on camera, but it's like a gold and pink. That's really nice. And a pink one as well. See if you can see the colours a bit better. It's like a pearlescent white with gold and pinks. A mez. Let's take a look, see what we can see. Same display as last time, but let's take a closer look. And honestly, hi, I've not stopped thinking about this. I thought this was black. It's actually green. This Croc Kelly bag. It is so stunning. And we've got it in like a light green as well. Oh my gosh. That is just a absolute dream bag. We've got the Constance as well in like a creamy colour with silver and we've got it in this bright green with gold. I really, really love that colour combination. So nice. We've got the Picatin in Croc here. Oh, the Rulis in the green and the gold as well. A little bit closer up this time and this one, which I do quite like. I said in the last video, some people say the lock looks like a toilet door lock and I cannot unsee that now, but I still think it's really beautiful. Also, I'm not wild about small leather goods, but I do think these are really nice. Like a Rulis, and this is like a Kelly Lock wallet. I think this, I don't know if this can go on a belt actually. That would be great if it could. And we've got a lot of the like coin purses, which you can often actually get online. Little card holder here. Just little investment pieces to go with your bag. So in Laura, we did a huge recce here the other week. So nothing really has changed. We've got the Pichon bag, the big gym bag, which I decided was far too heavy to there again. Not sure if we did see this one actually, but this is quite nice. I like the little detail on the front there. And this one we took a good look at last time and I love it. It's kind of rivals the Celine 16 bag that Hermes Kelly inspired. Very quiet luxury, especially for Saint Laurent. No big logos. Let's check out some bags at Gucci. Look at this ostrich Jackie bag in the green and white. These are beautiful. We have it in a pink python and down here we have all three sizes so we have the mini we have the small and we have the large size so hopefully that's helpful One of my personal favourites from Gucci, the Aphrodite shoulder bag. I think this is great value for money. It's not too in your face. I really like the white and gold actually. Let me move this chain. So you can wear it with the chain as more like an evening bag. You can extend this strap and use it as a crossbody or you can use it as your shoulder bag. And it has a zip closure so it's very secure. And we've got this bright pink as well. But actually I think the white would be the one that I would go for. What's everyone else's thoughts on this? They have this new mini size as well which I definitely Again, it's quite low key, um, but it's quite small. I definitely prefer this one with the chain on it. Just think it looks a bit more substantial. And this is the larger size, which doesn't have a zip closure. I don't know why it's so different to the other sizes, to be honest. Definitely my favorite. I will link this one down below, guys. Valentino. I like this top handle bag. Again, all crystals. How cute is this? It says this one's exclusive. I don't know if this is just the purple one, but it's like light purple goes to like an ombre. Very beautiful. And some more crystals up here. That one looks like it's got sequins on it actually. And then we've got a green and a yellow. Ooh, I think either that one up there is my favorite or maybe this purple one here. Moment of truth then. Let's see if they have the bright pink Dior mini saddlebag. I can see some bright pink over there, but let's take a look. Some neutrals here and unfortunately no mini saddle in the bright pink but they did have the phone pouch here. Again I'll link these below. We have the mini Lady Dior in the ostrich in the fuchsia pink as well. Such a shame I didn't get a chance to see the mini saddle. Hopefully they'll get one in soon but I did get a chance to see this new mini Miss Caro bag and I really like this. I've seen it on the website. It retails at £2,200 in the UK and they've also got like the wallets as well which I think is very cute and this new print D-Light bag. Hey guys, so I didn't realise but there isn't a Mulberry store in Harrods um, and come to think of it I've never actually seen Mulberry in Harrods before so I don't know why I thought that. 
Anyway, because I am determined we are going to be seeing this Powder Rose Mini Alexa, I have just run Covent Garden store. So we are now going to get the underground, we are going to head to Covent Garden and hopefully try this on. They've only got one left, so hopefully it doesn't sell in between the time of me getting there. Knightsbridge to Covent Garden. We'll have a quick look in the window here. We have a mini Bayswater, we have a larger size Bayswater. This is in the rose colour, which is what we are trying to track down in the Mini Alexa. And before we head in, ooh, I can see some pink behind there, guys. We have the zipped Mini Bayswater, and I think this is like a new bag. I'm not sure the name of it. I'll link it down below. Let's have a quick zoom in here. So I'm not sure about this. The tabs kind of stick out, like it doesn't stick down properly. But I kind of get it. I get where they're going with this one. Let's head in. So here's the Mini Alexa. Actually, the hardware looks almost silver, to be honest. It's like a really light gold. We've got the Lily as well in the powder rose. Again, the hardware is quite light. And this one down here in the powder rose colour. And just to compare it to like a beige. This is like a beige colour and the pink. So it is a very light pink, guys. The powder rose pink. Finally, I'll try and show this is actually quite a light pink. Let me see the colour. What do we think? It's actually lighter than I thought it would be. I'll show you against my like white t-shirt here. Okay guys, I can't lie, I'm slightly underwhelmed with the powder rose mini Alexa. Like I do really like it, but the hardware on it, I don't know if it was the bright lights, but it basically looks silver. And I was expecting more of a rich gold, which I love gold hardware on my bags. And yeah, I'm not so sure. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. This is why it's so helpful to see things in real life, isn't it? Okay, that is it for today's shopping vlog, guys. We have done Harrods and Mulberry in Covent Garden. Really glad I've seen that. I would also like to say a huge thank you to Zuvi for sponsoring today's video. Again, I absolutely love my Zuvi Halo hairdryer. I will pop the discount code on the screen down below for you to get 10% off everything on the Zuvi website. Let me know what you've been liking the look of in the comments down below, but make sure you don't go anywhere because coming up next, I'll link my latest video release here for you and over here. We are going luxury shopping, this time at Selfridges in London, and we meet up with a fellow YouTuber. There is so much eye candy in this video. Enjoy.